How much influence does a television commercial director have on the finished commercial? You may be surprised when I tell you, and I will tell you, I promise, but first, let me introduce myself. I'm Sean from Cinematic Learning, and I direct television commercials, but when I'm not doing that, I make content that can help novice filmmakers get better at their craft. I've been putting out all these videos that I'm calling the director series, where I provide some insight into various television commercials I've directed, and today, we are going to look at a spot I made for a product called Ageless Male Max. Warning, men should be 18 or older to purchase and use Ageless Male Max. Guys, how'd you like to get a whole lot cockier? Yes, I have a commercial in my portfolio called Get Cockier, and I'm really not sure how I feel about it, but let's break it down. We are in a studio in upstate New York that has a very industrial look, and it's perfect for our client. He wanted these very manly looking men to be doing very non-traditional workouts. So, you know, you and I use dumbbells to work out. Just kidding, I don't work out. But these actors are going to use giant pieces of wood for their bicep curls and really coarse old rope to climb up. And they're gonna do push-ups on the dusty studio floor. This spot had a very small crew, two producers, myself as both the director and the DP. I have an AC, we have a PA, and the studio owner, Bill Diamond, is helping out as jib operator. My camera is on a jib, but we have no motion control or remote follow focus. So, you know, we're sort of limited in terms of how we can use the jib. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I say motion control or remote follow focus, it means we can't make our camera pan or tilt when it's extended out at the end of the jib, and we can't change the focus remotely. So all we can really do is jib up and down or left and right. Now, our client is also on set, and he wrote the spot. He's a pretty cool guy. We also have four actors, three dudes and one young lady. Uh, and she told me she thought we were filming a workout class. So I'm not sure what her agency told her because the truth was she was there to ogle some sweaty guys and then get swept off her feet in the Adris male signature shot that ends all of their commercials. It's not sexist at all. Now, my shot list included a pretty lengthy list of various shots we needed to capture, including this scenario where the girl picks the alpha male who is going to sweep her off her feet and the other guy does not take it well at all. There were a lot of cool spaces in the studio and things lying around that came in handy. I came across a giant tire. Why there's a giant tire in the studio, I don't know, but Bill Diamond said, sure, use the tire. So we had the guys flip the giant tire. Then Bill Diamond said, hey, I have a sledgehammer. Okay, let's hit the tire with the sledgehammer. Why is there a piece of pipe up there? I don't know. But to me, it looks like the exact place an Adris male would do some chin-ups and he would definitely take his girl with him and she would definitely bite her lip as he does his 30th rep. This is back in 2017 or 2018, but all these years later, I can still feel the magic of that day. This one spot in the studio just looked really cool. So I said to the producers and the clients, let's just have these guys walk towards the camera in slow motion. This guy is gonna be holding the sledgehammer. He actually shocked us all when he told us he was 60 years old. This guy, well, I wanted to add my own signature to the Aegis male brand. So I had him take his shirt off and throw it on the ground. Then do one take where he takes his shirt off and he throws it at the camera. And I'm saying to myself, could this become a thing that happens in all the Aegis male commercials? Well, in case you're curious, I have directed more commercials for Aegis male. And yes, it's a thing now. I'm still not sure if I should be proud of any of this. Aegis male and this product called Nugenix are very similar. Maybe you've seen some of their commercials. A few years back, Saturday Night Live did a spoof of them. And it's pretty funny. I'm going to link it below. You should watch it after you watch this. Now let's circle back to the question I posed at the start of this video because that's why you're here, right? You're not here for the shirtless men or the biting lips or to look at my face. You wanna know how much influence I had as a director on the finished version of this commercial, right? So here's the answer, none, none at all. My job as a commercial director is done when I walk off the set at the end of the shoot. Commercial directors typically have zero involvement in the post-production process. That's where the editor is gonna take over and he or she is gonna work with the producers and typically the clients to shape the spot and massage it until it's done. I don't get to see a rough cut. Uh, sometimes I have to plead and nag the producers to get a copy so I could actually see the finished cut and then I could have a copy for my reel. Um, I actually don't watch a lot of TV so it's rare for me to see my own work on television. Now as a director, uh, I can really only hope that the editor watches every take we shot from head to tail because sometimes the best, the, the best moments come at the end of the take. And sometimes editors just do not watch all the way. And I also really hope that the editor has an understanding of what my intentions as, as a director were for the spot. With this spot, I really didn't have a script to work from. 
uh, basically had a list of like must have shots, would like to have shots. And if there's extra time, let's try and get these shots. It was kind of like uh, directing a stock video shoot. But on other commercials that are scripted much more tightly, um, I'm going to do myself a favor and I convey all my intentions to the producers while on set because they're the ones that are going to be sitting with the editor as he or she cuts. And hopefully they can kind of steer things in the right direction or in the direction that I was hoping to steer them. Now, I direct commercials, but I don't have any experience in directing TV, you know, like episodic television, maybe one day. Uh, so I can honestly say I don't know how much involvement a TV director has in the editing process. I have worked in film. Uh, I've directed three features and a, you know, a bunch of shorts, and I was heavily involved in the editing process for those, you know, and helping the editor find the story and the rhythm that I was looking for. The reason that I picked uh, Ageless Male, this commercial in particular, as my example was also to let anyone know um, who's a DP or cinematographer that if you aspire to work in commercials, your involvement also ends when you walk off the set. And this was something that I didn't know when I first started working as a commercial cinematographer. Uh, you know, for the first, I'd say, six months or so, I would send the producers camera reports to send to the editor. And I would take all the raw footage that I shot into DaVinci Resolve, and I would grade every single shot. And I would ask the producers to pass those stills on to the editor. And then one day they finally said, stop wasting your time, Sean. The editor doesn't care. They're not looking at any of this stuff that you're sending over. Uh, and that's kind of the difficult part of being a commercial director or a cinematographer. You know, you're putting your work in someone else's hands and you have to just hope that they're good at what they do. And by the way, most of the time they really are. Now for most of this video, I have been showing you my raw footage from the Aegis Mail shoot that's been color graded the way I intended the footage to look, which is actually very different from how the footage looked in the actual finished spot. Uh, so whose color is better? Well, of course, uh, I think mine is, but you can let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, then like, share, comb your hair. And don't forget to visit cinematiclearning.com to check out some of my courses on directing, cinematography, and video editing. You don't even have to spend a dime. You can start on the road to becoming a professional with a course that is 100% free. So check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.